Hello to friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I would like to share with you another uh, beautiful design from Slovak custom knife maker uh, Pavel Jarabica from Dark Edge Knives. Uh, here are his informations if you like to check out his work. And uh, this will be also a uh, maybe a more uh, discussion uh, video because I really want to, to show you some uh, progression in his work because this is uh, one of his uh, early early designs so uh, the knife itself I will be talking about the dark edge knives uh, mosquito this is from the the first uh, batch of uh, neck knives uh, he has uh, so uh, project wise uh, produce prototypes so this is uh, as far as I know that the only piece that is in existence and I must uh, give big, big thanks uh, to my friend uh, who did uh, let's say we have traded knives dark knives and uh, finally after uh, so many years uh, I have this one in my collection I was originally at the knife show uh, where the knife was sold but uh, I hesitated and I did, did not bought it and my friend uh, uh, was there and uh, he did see the true beauty of this small neck knife and uh, he did the right thing and bought it. And I'm really happy that he did because after many many uh, evenings of discussions with him I finally uh, finally got him to trade it uh, with me and now I can share it here uh, with you okay so let me bring out the tablet and show you the the whole family picture okay so back in 2013 uh, Powell did envision these few uh, designs so I guess here is the mosquito and also uh, there will be a few designs that have uh, the he did produce through the years from this first batch uh, I got only this one so this is the scorpion and then uh, he did work on the next production um, batch of neck knives which then translated to the Xard neck knives uh, project uh, these are the part of the Xard neckline and I, I had few of them and we'll show it also in this video okay so let's continue so firstly let me show you this beautiful small neck knife so the original neck knife project like I mentioned it started in 2013 uh, all the blades were made out of N690 CO uh, they were blasted and polished This has really nice blasted polished finish And we have sand blasted and grooved uh, texture G10 Let me also show you how the knife looks like without the scales. So uh, I hope you can see it. So uh, Powell did use quite a, quite a few holes for milling just to uh, weight reduct the the knife itself. Let me give you a quick specification. So we have a blade length of five centimeters or two inches. The thickness is 3.5 millimeter stock. So uh, this is of course. Uh, full tank construction or 0 0.14 inches if you want uh, the overall length is 12 centimeters or 4.7 inches the weight uh, without the sheep you have 71.4 grams or 2.5 ounces and with the sheep you have 84.1 grams or 2.96 ounces You have a kydex sheath and the like, if I'm not mistaken, all 
Well, let me let me check one man. Yeah. Oh, only one neck knife that uh, that uh, power is producing does not feature an linen hole. That will be the the reactor neck knife series. Okay, so let me continue with the story. So after after the the project neck knife concluded, uh, Powell did uh, did sold all the knives. I bought the scorpion. My friend bought the mosquito. I have videos on, on this one. If you like, you can go and check out my playlist Dark Edge Knives, and you will find all my Dark Edge Knife videos. Uh, nicely uh, compact in in one place. So this is a scorpion, quite larger design, but uh, with the same uh, aesthetics. And the scorpion uh, was uh, from the two thousand, uh, also for two thousand thirteen, of course. But then fast forward two years. So in two thousand fifteen. Uh, Pavel did put out the next the next line of neck knives, which is the Izard uh, neck knife uh, project or short ink. So this is the whole family picture right there. I got the in ground toxic and the ink. A quill black sepia. So there were also a few longer designs, but I opted for the smaller ones. So this is the uh, ink or gizzard neck knives a quill black sepia. Has a nice splatter finish, which is etched, of course. And then my probably most favorite and my most carried one, of course, is the in-ground toxic, which has a nice uh, satin finish. And this toxic green G10. Yeah. So in the same year, uh, uh, for this one I do not have the, the family picture, I, I couldn't found it, but uh, Pavel did produce the probably uh, the, the second uh, neck knife project in that year and that was the reactor and the neck uh, reactor neck knives project and part of this uh, he produced quite a few of them, I have probably four I'm not mistaken on my channel some of them uh, went to new owners some of them were traded in of course uh, but I kept uh, two of them this is my most favorite one this is the Vampira with this beautiful uh, so black uh, gray and red scales so this is more a well, I will say a self-defense neck knife this was also produced in 2015 and also uh, I don't have uh, marked the date uh, somewhere probably 2018 was uh, the tactical uh, tactical scalpel, which is also a, a new neck knife project, but uh, more on so first aid kit oriented stuff in there. And once more, uh, 
Pavel did produce also a series of uh, neck karambit. This is the karambit 2. I don't know, have the first uh, generation. So if you like, you can go check out his uh, blog and there will find a lot of uh, his early designs. Yeah. So that was a a quick, say, uh, history about the neck knife projects from uh, Dark Edge Knives. If you are interested, you can go check out Pavel's work. Uh, maybe uh, he still has the the blueprints, the the CAD files for this one. If you like something like this, you can probably ask him if he can uh, produce it if you're interested just uh, send him an email and talk with him and uh, he will tell you if he has time or or he still has the manuals because uh, some of these old designs were only um, on, on paper so he designed it on paper and not all of them have uh, corresponding digital files so so reproducing them uh, would be a little bit of a problem if he don't uh, has a digital file on them but uh, you can ask him okay so if you if you're interested in size comparisons uh, I will give you a few of them uh, here's the Kershaw shuffle 2 a bug vintage select and uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, compare it also with a small uh, Griptilian from Benchmade and Spyderco Delica. It is, uh, there is no point to, to show you a larger knife because, yeah, it's a really small one. Okay, so this was the Dark Edge Knives uh, Mosquito Neck Knife from the original uh, Neck Knife uh, project back in 2013. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, leave comments down below. I'm more than happy to reply as soon as I can. If you are a subscriber, thank you very much. If you are not, then please consider subscribing. I try to release at least three videos per week, mostly knife and gear and also sometimes watches, uh, books, uh, miniature painting stuff and hobbies, uh, hobby stuff and, and electronics and so on. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you soon.